Hello, G.I. Joe fans and Hasbros. I got home from the United States to a box of free shit from Hasbro. Um, you probably would have seen throughout the month of June, Hasbro is celebrating the 40th anniversary of G.I. Joe. And they called June, Yojo June, uh, the big celebration, lots of live streams. They announced the um, HasLab for the classified scaled his tank. And yeah, you probably would have seen a lot of other YouTube channels People have been receiving this big box of free stuff um, and making videos about it, you know, to help give Hasbro free promotion to, to shill for them. And I can't wait to just gush all over this stuff. This is going to be awesome. I'm wearing my new Snake Eyes t-shirt that was very kindly gifted to me by uh, my buddy Sal from Two Cents Toys. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm all moist and throffing. I can't wait. So uh, let's... Play the intro and let's get into this box. Come with me, toy fans. All right, toy fans, without further ado, let's see what Hasbro has sent me. This is, you know, it's a huge box. I'm sure there's not much anticipation here because I'm sure you've seen other videos, but oh, wow. Wow, where, where do I begin? First of all, Man, that is awesome. It's Steel Brigade, a hugely popular character in the G.I. Joe toy line. Um, people have been wanting this figure in classified in the six inch scale for a long time. Um, I can't believe they finally made it. And it even comes with a figure stand. And this figure has alternate hands. Um, awesome, what, what, what a great place to start. We've got the classified scale, Steel Brigade figure. All right, what's next in the box? Oh, th this, this is awesome. It is a limited edition, one of 100, Sergeant Slammer. Obviously the brains at Hasbro know that this is also the 40th anniversary of Action Force. So they've taken one of their most popular characters, Sergeant Slaughter, and released him in classic Action Force packaging, which harkens back to the, the Palatoy era, the 1980s of, of Action Force and they've renamed the figure Slammer because that's what his name was in the UK because Slaughter was deemed, you know, too much of a brutal name for us British children, you know. Um, that's awesome, man. One of 500. I, can't, I, I don't know how many they sent out around the world, but um, I'm super, super pleased that I've got myself a Sergeant Slammer from the awesome, awesome people at Hasbro. All right, what's next in the box? Wow, I can't believe this. A life-size version, toy version, of Desert Rat's rifle. Desert Rat isn't part of G.I. Joe. Hmm, perhaps they should have thrown in a snake eye sword or something like that. All right, next in the box we have... Oh yes, baby. It's F-Bomb, the action figure in G.I. Joe. F-Bomb, AKA Gracie or Mrs. Analog Toys. Ooh, she's smoking hot. Hey baby, how you doing? Desert Rat can't wait to get his hands on this chick. That's awesome. An F-Bomb action figure. Thank you Hasbro, this is amazing. Now we have, holy wow, a big bad a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. Hasbro didn't just give me one Steel Brigade in this box. They gave me two. It's the Big Bad Toy Store exclusive Night Ops Steel Brigade. And the color scheme on this thing is just insane. This is incredible. Hasbro, if any one of your employees was in the room right now, I would re give them a reach around, deep throat, I'd be I wouldn't be able to make this video because I'd just be gagging everywhere. This is incredible. Um, now we have, oh, this is a little bit more mundane. Now we have a Hiss tank. This was sold at retail, unlike the massively overpriced classified six inch scale um, that was crowdfunded by a multi-billion dollar corporation because you know, when they make, when, when, you know, when they have like $4 billion in profits each year, 
Um, they, they need to crowdfund toys. Um, personally, I think they should take the electronics out of the classified scale his tank and sell it to you for 200 bucks. I was watching Laser Plants Live the other day on the 3POA podcast, big shout out to my buddy Ryan. Um, and they were talking a lot about the his tank and there was a guy in the chat there who was trying to tell me that all the electronic lights and sounds would only increase the cost of the toy by $25. So obviously he's a really, really experienced toy maker and knows far more than I do. Um, so my kind of idea that they should sell it for 175 at retail without any lights and sounds, well, he just shot that out of the water because he knew that, you know, it only cost Hasbro $25 to put all those electronic lights and sounds in there. But, you know, I think this is a pretty good option. Um, this is like 30 bucks or something. So uh, go with this one instead. Okay, and last but certainly not least, oh, wow. We have the Deluxe Desert Rat. The Crocodile Wrestling Desert Rat. Look at that. Geez, that's a handsome action figure. With that gorgeous crocodile. This box is enormous. I'm getting this shit out of the way. <laughs> wow, Hasbro. You've outdone yourself. Two Steel Brigades, a Sergeant Slammer, and a Deluxe Desert Rat. But <laughs> in all seriousness, um, Hasbro sent me an email um, asking if I would be interested in receiving like a, a box of free merch. And of course, I, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth and turn anything down. Um, so I responded to their email um, that, and they, uh, I had to go like, fill in this form. And as part of that, I had to provide um, a link to my social media platform, whether it was Instagram or whatever. And of course, it's the Analog Toys YouTube channel. So I posted a link and obviously the people at Hasbro's PR company didn't do their research because for Yojo June last year, I made a video called Yo Joke June because I was so disappointed in what Hasbro was doing with the classified line at the time. However, this is all of the stuff that they actually provided in this box. And as I said, you would have seen this on a number of other YouTube videos over the month of June. And I will say that um, there's actually some really good product here. First of all, this Storm Shadow figure, as much as it pains me to say it, um, this is easily the best six inch classified figure that Hasbro have made to date. I really do like the fact that they are course correcting. Every, well, 90% of us hated that first wave with the gold chin pads and all that. Things started to get a little bit better. Things really started to take a turn in, with the classified line with Zartan. Um, but now they are, they're seriously upping their game and this figure is completely pinless. It looks terrific. It poses really well, excellent accessories. I do wish, really wish that Hasbro would give us alternate hands for these figures. But Storm Shadow, um, I'm gonna stand by what I said. This is, I think, I mean, I, I haven't had, I don't have every figure that Hasbro have made for, for the classified line, but of all the ones that I either own or have handled, I think this is the best figure that they've done to date. Um, Spirit and Freedom is also an excellent figure. Um, Freedom looks awesome. And I, I really suspected before I got this that I would have trouble standing this figure when he had, you know, freedom either on his arm or on his backpack, but actually the figure stands really well. The backpack is one of the best that they've done in the range. I love the profile of the backpack when it pegs into the back. It doesn't stick out on an angle like a lot of the backpacks do. This one sits flush down the back. Um, he's got some cool weaponry and it's an iconic G.I. Joe character. And I think they did a really good job. Crocmaster. I had this, I got this figure in, I want to say late 88 or early 89. And I remember that because I'd just arrived in Australia and it was one of the figures that I, I got when we were still kind of, the first kind of six months we were in Australia, we were traveling around a little bit. Um, and uh, yeah, I remember getting this figure and being quite excited because, you know, I've, I'd gone to the land of the crocodiles, Australia, and I now had a crocodile action figure um, who, 
This was one G.I. Joe figure that I was, uh, G.I. Joe classified figure, although I'm not really buying a lot of the new stuff. This is one figure that I was actually going to pick up simply because I wanted the crocodile. And the crocodile does not disappoint. I had a quick look at this before I sat down to record the video. It is an amazing toy. Like, hats off to the designers of this crocodile. It is an incredible piece. I love the fact that when you open the jaw and it's actually correct to the way, you know, a real crocodile is where, you know, the, the bottom jaw, the bottom part of the jaw doesn't actually move a lot. The top part of the jaw opens up nice and wide. And, and they, the way they've done the articulation here where when the jaw opens up, you can kind of see all the gums stretch down the side. It looks absolutely incredible. And I can't wait to um, maybe get out in the wild and, and do some... Uh, you know, in the field photography of desert rat wrestling a wrestling a crocodile. My joke about the the desert rat rifle. Hasbro did provide this um, snake eyes sword. It's a toy sword, but man, you wouldn't want to hit a kid on the head with that. What ages eight plus? I wouldn't want an eight year old kid running around swinging this around the house. You know, you're gonna you smash bottles with this stuff and. Um, but yeah, you know, they, they, they've they clearly designed this box for the adult collector. You know, they're sending it out to YouTubers and stuff like that. I don't know why they've given us a kid's role play toy, but hey, free shit. Thanks very much. Also in the box, Python Patrol Viper. Um, I've got no interest in the Python Patrol whatsoever. Um, I'm going to give this figure away, I'm going to figure out a giveaway and I'm going to give this away to a patron. Um, I might do like a photo caption competition or something like that. Um, but yeah, this I'm not going to even open this one, I'm going to keep this sealed and I'm going to give this away to a patron of the channel. Now the last thing that was in the box was this two pack of retro collection carded um, Cobra Soldier or Cobra Trooper and Cobra Officer. I feel as though these uh, figures are very, very overpriced. I don't know the price off the top of my head. I'm going to have to look up on Hasbro Pulse what these figures sell for, but they're very overpriced for what they are. And when you see the figures next to a vintage figure, They've got the faces wrong. The, face, the faces of these reproduced figures, they look like the faces of, you know, little Lego space people or something. It's so, I, I know like the, the original figures weren't that complicated, but it's something, it's something to do with like the tone of the paint that they've used and the, the very simplistic eyes that they've painted on, which I know the originals were simplistic, but the originals didn't look like Lego figures. These look like the face of a Lego figure. So it's good It's good that, you know, fans of O-Ring G.I. Joe have some product out there. It's just a shame that it's massively overpriced. And I think if you've tried to pose these in your vintage Joe collection, they're going to stand out a mile because they just look a bit goofy. So that that's it. That's all of the products that were in here, I'm pretty sure. Um... I will just say, Hasbro, have a word with your marketing team. While I do appreciate free shit and I'm not going to turn it down, um, I'm not the right channel to send this stuff to. Um, I'm not going to tell people to run out and buy any of this stuff. Like, I mean, I, I do feel like certainly like this Storm Shadow and this Spirit, when you compare it to other Hasbro brands today, you're getting the most value for money with G.I. Joe now. You know, they're packing in a lot of accessories. Far more value than Star Wars Black Series and exceedingly more value than Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends barely come with any accessories whatsoever um, and they are priced the same if, well, at the moment, their prices are even higher for Legends, but I'm pretty sure that classifieds are going to go up. So... Um, I'm not going to tell you to go out and buy this shit, but if you can get it for free, get it for free. Because um, that's pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and that you get the joke and you laughed along with me. Um, Hasbro, don't solicit me for free stuff anymore. 
If I want to review your products, I'm going to order them online. I'm going to buy them. That way I can give a, um, an unbiased review. Even though people say I give biased reviews of Action Force because I'm in the line, I still pay for the stuff. So, um, but yeah, that, that's how I do my reviews of, of action figures. You know, I, I, buy, I buy everything from Stan Solo that I review. I buy everything from Valiverse that I review. And if I'm going to review uh, Hasbro G.I. Joe Classifieds, I'm going to pay for it. All right. Take care for now, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.